Glad to have you join us on the newsroom at 3. I am Fola Shadi Ogunde. Kaduna State Governor Nesso El Rufai says he has provided a comprehensive briefing to President Muhammad Bwari on the right size and policy of the state government and the steps taken so far to implement it. The governor, in a statement by Special Advisor on Media and Communication, Miwa Dikeye, on Sunday said he assured President Buhari that Kaduna State Government is determined not to allow a repeat of pains, economic losses and the restraints of freedom that the NLC inflicted on the people of Kaduna State. He added that Kaduna State will seek accountability for the actions of the Nigeria Labour Congress in the state by setting up a judicial commission of inquiry into the NLC strike and the protest of May 2021. The Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu has felicitated with the former Governor of the State and current Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashala on the occasion of his 58th birthday. Governor Somolu, in a statement issued on Monday by his Chief Press Secretary Boyega Akosile, described Fashala as a seasoned administrator, legal icon and technocrat who has used his skills and positions in different capacities for the growth of Lagos State and Nigeria. He said Fashala raised the bar in corporate governance and administration while serving as governor of Lagos State with great records of laudable achievements during his eight years tenure of office. The United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed has urged it to stop condemning the Nigerian government but rather start building the country with their God-given skills and talents. She made this known in a statement signed by the National Information Officer UN Office Nigeria, Ulushei Shoremekun. The Deputy Secret Secretary General further urged youths not to compare Nigeria with other countries who gained independence before the West African state. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa on Sunday reimposed restrictions for two weeks to combat a surge in the highly contagious coronavirus Delta variant. According to authorities, the peak of the third wave fueled by the Delta variant first identified in India will surpass that of earlier waves as the country struggles to quickly roll out vaccinations. South Africa now counts over 1.9 million coronavirus cases after recording 15,036 new cases on Sunday. It dropped from the previous day when 18,762 new infections were reported. Banks' credit to Nigeria's private sector increased by 1.29 trillion naira in the first quarter of 2021 to stand at 31.44 trillion naira. Based on the data obtained from the, from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, credit to the private sector increased from 30.15 trillion naira, recorded as of December 2020, to 31.44 trillion naira as of the end of March 2021. The Apex Bank has continued to move to quicken Nigeria's economic recovery from the recession witnessed in the third quarter of 2020 due to the pandemic-induced lockdown by encouraging banks to offer more credits to the real sector of the economy. The UK's finance watchdog has banned major cryptocurrency exchange Binance from regulated trading in Britain as the industry faces greater global scrutiny. The ban affects options and futures contracts related to bets and price movements of cryptocurrencies. The finance body, however, stated that purchases of cryptocurrency units such as that of Bitcoin and Dogecoin can continue since they are not regarded as financial products and are therefore not regulated. Founded in China four years ago, Binance is one of the world's two biggest crypto exchanges along with Coinbase in the United States. Portugal crashed out of Euro 2020 following a 1-0 defeat to Belgium on Sunday evening, ending the defending champions' hopes of another continental triumph, Cristiano Ronaldo tested Thibaut Courtois with a deep in free kick in the first half, but the 36-year-old neither broke the international goals record nor added to his five for the tournament. Meanwhile, Turgan Hazard's first half goal gave Belgium a sense a tense win over the holder to set up a quarter-final tie against Italy in Munich in the last eight on July 2. Well, that's it on our news update. This hour. Thank you for watching. I am Fola Shadi, Ogurindi.